What's up, you Steph? Um, today is March the 30th, and um, I told you a while back that in addition to our new meetings, the way we're going to do it, um, that we want to give some video training here and there, like from me and, and just different you Staff members um, on certain topics. And so this is going to kick that off. I'm just going to email this to you here in a bit or link it on Facebook or whatever I got to do to get it into your hands. Um, but what I want to do is just to, instead of having extra additional meetings to train you, I'm just going to send these out like maybe once a month, once every couple of weeks, just as it's needed, just for you to um, to gain some insight on some just different things that we're trying to do in youth ministry. This video is all about mentorship um, because we've been discussing it lately, just how to be better mentors, what does a youth staff do to surround mentors, how do we become better mentors. And so I thought that would be a sweet topic just to teach a little bit on for a few minutes about how to be better mentors. So um, all that being said, there is this thing that I want to just um, get myself about thoughtfulness and kindness. Um, you know that, that that decision that you've got to make that's just so huge and you're trying to think, okay, what would, and you fill in that blank with a name, what would they do? What would he do? What would she do? Um, you know, we wear the WWJD bracelets and all that stuff. You know, what would Jesus do in all these situations? Usually it's it's about... You know, something that somebody else has had success in, somebody else has had some awesome influence in, and you're trying to make a good decision like they would. The The vision I'm going to cast to you is how sweet would it be if the person that you're mentoring, the girl, the guy, whoever you're mentoring, if they looked at life through the Christ lens of just what would James Miller do? You know, he's so much like Jesus. What would Chris Fowler do? What would Rob Rice do? What would Jenna White do? It's like, what would they do because they, they emulate Christ to such a degree what would they do if they were in this situation? Because when they do that, it's so much easier to put themselves in your shoes rather than Christ's shoes, right? And so um, and so that whole concept, I want to talk through thoughtfulness and kindness and how I used to think they were the same things, but now I think thoughtfulness is like this just much more specific aspect of kindness. Kindness is like I'm kind. Thoughtfulness is I have uh, custom-tailored kindness. It's like I have this very specific way that I'm going to be kind to you. And so when you're thoughtful towards someone... You're thoughtful, like, toward their personality. Shamanic, you're awesome at this. It's like, you know, if he's going to get a gift for you, it's not going to be some generic gift. It's going to be something sweet exactly toward your personality. And I think that's the way we mentor, too. It's not It's not like the way I mentor um, my mentos, James Miller, or mentee or whatever. It's not like the way I mentor them is the same way you mentor yours. It's like one of the best things that you can do to live up to your mentorship, one of the best things you can do is to customize the way you mentor them. And the only way to do that in our crazy lives, our busy lives, is to, I guess, kind of systemize our thoughtfulness. And so I just wrote down just a couple basic things, but, I mean, it's just what we've been praying through as a youth staff, and I just want to, if you can jot these down or just take note of these, but just, uh, you know, if you have, like, a weekly light touch, and when I say light, I just mean, like, uh, you know, it, it's not about, it doesn't have to be about Jesus. It doesn't have to be about the Bible, but it's it's all about just how's your week going, how's that test um, how was that game the other night? What did you do last night? Did you watch, you know, whatever house or, you know, whatever they watch, you know? Did you watch that? What was that like? And if you do that, if it's text or Facebook or whatever, just to do that weekly or so, and it doesn't have to be some completely systemized thing, but just to do it every so often, I think it'd be awesome to do that weekly. Um, just to hang out. I saw Jenna White and Brianna yesterday in Best Buy, and I just thought, dude, that is exactly what it's about. So Jenna, big props, because... When I saw her there with Bree, they were just having a good time, shopping around, just kind of doing this whole life thing. And um, and it was really cool to me just to see them there, and I thought that's what being a good mentor is like. Do you have to do that every week? I don't think so. Do you have to do that every month? I don't think so. I think if you if you have a constant contact that doesn't have to revolve around Scripture, and you do life with them sometimes, invite them over to dinner with your family. If you're going out to run errands, James Miller says all the time, Larry Blackburn would do that with him constantly, go get his dry cleaning. And at the time he thought, why? And now he's like, he wanted to spend time with me and it meant, it meant the world to me. So um, I think, you know, having like a weekly light touch, having, you know, some time together, if it's one th once every other month, you know, for some just time together over dinner or whatever. And then just to, to ask him every week or every two weeks, how can I pray for you? You know, what's going on that you're really thinking about that that um, that you really need a friend to just pray over you? You know, we don't have to talk about it, but but uh, but I'm just going to pray for you. I think if you do those kind of things, I think they're going to open up in a big way. And I think your thoughtfulness won't just be kindness. Like, I want to mentor you. It'll be tailor-made, custom-made 
kindness, that, that turns into thoughtfulness, that you know, I know exactly how to pour into your life, exactly what to do for you. Um, another youth staff member, you know, uh, this one kid was struggling with, with homework, and, uh, and so she just started helping him with his homework, and, or helping her with her homework, and, uh, and just pouring into her in that way, and I thought, that's custom made. She's struggling with this subject, and you're pouring into her because you're gifted in that subject. I think that's awesome. And so um, the more we do things like that, the more we kind of custom fit our thoughtfulness and kindness toward that individual student, I think the more impact you'll have and you'll take your mentorship to the next level. Um, in the same regard, something I'm kind of learning about is I have a lot of mentors because I'm psycho like that. And uh, and I'm learning how to also take care of my mentors, like, like when it's their birthday, to care for them and write them a card, when it's uh, their time to... You know, when, when they have some big thing going on, when they are on vacation or whatever, I pray more for them and I thank God for them, but I also thank them. And listen, thank you for pouring into me. So I think it works both ways. You know, if you're being mentored by someone that's further along than you, um, someone that's just sharing with you about their life and it's benefiting you and your family, then man, let them know how grateful you are. Let them know how thankful you are. And in the same respect, customize your thoughtfulness to those students. And I think your mentorship is going to be great. Those three specific things... Um, that's how I would adopt a specific, like a systematic approach to mentorship. But I think if you do that, it'll translate all the good intentions you had. I wish I would have gone to their game. I wish I would have asked how their problem went. I wished that I could have been there in their crisis. It'll turn all that I wish into uh, meaningful expressions of love in their everyday life. So um, anyway, just if you have more specific questions, like email me or call me or text me or whatever. I just want this video to not waste your time in a meeting. But to, uh, but to be beneficial in your own time as you just see fit to watch it. So uh, I love you so much, man. I love serving with you on new staff. And if there's anything I can do for you this week, let me know. I love y'all. Uh. Praise belongs to you.